Good morning, fellow. Today we are going to just see how to export the security role. If you wanted to export the security role in an Excel format, in an Excel file, then you have to go and download the XRM tools. If you try to export the security role from the DCRM itself, so it won't be available in a in a such a in a such a way that like a username and a, whether user is having a having organization level access or user is having a read access write access it won't become like that it won't it just come like a one format like a user name like security name and business unit i'll just show you one example i'm in a, a dc adapt and i'm just trying to export one of the security role solution checker i'll just try to export well, sync a scale. I'll just try to export it. See, once I export it, once I open it, see, it will show you only name and business unit. It won't be like whether this sync skill is having a read access, write access, append, and open to. It won't be so. For that Excel format, you must go and install the XRM toolbox. Just go and write xrmtoolbox.com. Once you write, it is the official site for XRM tools box. Now just come below, little bit below. See, download the latest version. Once you download it, because I have already downloaded it, I'll just show you. See, I have downloaded XRM toolbox. Under that, I have a xrmtoolbox.exe file. You just double click on this. Once you double click on this, it will show you this welcome XRM toolbox. And one more thing here, I just wanted to add here. Like if you are not able to connect, you are not able to open the XRM toolbox, then check whether whatever DLL file is available here or whatever DLL file in Visual Studio is available. Both are having a same DLL or not. If that XRM toolbox, we have a different different DLL. See, if something is matching here in the DLL format, like before previously I faced one issue with document DLL. I missed out that document DLL to add here. So that is why I was unable to connect with XRM toolbox. So please keep remember, if you are missing any DLL file, just add, just copy and add the DLL file here. That's it. Now you will able to open this XRM toolbox easily. Now just go for the tools. Now in the tools, we have a export, export security role. Just click on the export security role. Yes, I wanted to connect with the organization. Before that, we need to send, and we need to establish the connection. Just click on the new connection. Just click on the authorization MFA. Now I'm using trial version of Dynamics 365. Now I'll just show you how to connect with Dynamics 365. Just authorization. I will take that URL for trial one. I'll just take that URL for trial one. This is the URL for trial one. Copy this one and paste it here. And it is showing like a service timeout, two minutes. Like we have a plugin execution time is also two minutes. Now I just click on the next. Now it will ask for author, uh, authorization authentication. Don't do anything. Just click on the use development Azure AD app. Once you click, it will tell you a few of the information. Now just click OK. Now see, it will prompt everything, reply URL, Azure AD. Everything will populate automatically. Just click on the next. Once you click on the next, it will ask you password. Then, then you have to you have to provide the password. Then, then yeah, show connection failed. Okay. I Okay, okay, sorry. I haven't used email address. I need to use email address for trial one. 
and go for that one. This is my trial email address. I have taken that. I'll use here. Now I have given next. That is why it is throwing error because I haven't provided email address. Now it will ask, yeah, definitely it will ask for password. I'll give the password here. Now I skip for 14 days. Now just provide the connection name like security export Excel. Now just click finished. No need to do anything. Now see here what is happening now. The connection, see open environment. Once you click open environment, my trial environment will be open. Now just come here just from here just write export security rules because why it is coming here because i have already installed that export security rule from the tools so what is the things you need to do here once you click on the export security rule now they will provide they will give you three dll you need to copy all these three dll and you will keep under this one, under here, this this one security rule, like this one. This is the DLL for security rule. Now you have to copy paste here, all all three. Now, now just click on the tools. Now write the export security rule. Now I have already install that export security role and and all that dll file i have added into it xm toolbox here now just click on the retrieve roles once you click on the retrie retrieves role now roles now role will be available now just click anyone like system administrator i'll go for and we'll see what all the access system administrator is having now see this is the excel format let's see these are the security role now i just export this now i export it it will be download yeah system administrator saved it now just go and check documents one downloaded one system administrator modified one yeah system administrator just open it see how it's look like now the name create append to to attribute organization role these are the miscellaneous privilege now entity privilege we have now see what all the entity privilege system administrator is doing it is if it is showing everything see now this is the way you can export the security role from the xrm toolbox i will put the xrm toolbox official side below this description i'll put in a description and also i'll provide my uh, my blog as well in that blog I have already written all the step how to export and import that security role from the exp um, xrm tools and even and and uh, and moreover i have also given the interview question and related plugin question as well if you wanted to visit my blogs you can also visit, visit 